hello everyone today in this video I will explain you lesson number one computers storage and memory devices so now let's start with it data and information anything that we input in the computer is called data it can be a collection of facts figures or concepts the output that we receive from the computer after processing the data is known as information as you can see in the figure data after processing becomes information okay next is data storage unit the unit to measure the capacity of computer's memory is byte a byte comprises of 8 bits bits means binary digits where each bit represents either 0 or 1. The sequence of zeros and 1s is known as binary code. Okay? 0 and 1 signify the off and on state of a computer respectively. Means 0 represents off and 1 represents on state. Computer being a machine cannot understand human language. So, the data and instructions fed into the computer are first converted into machine understandable code and that is known as binary code. Next is computer memory. A computer system has two types of memory that is primary memory and secondary memory. As you can see here memory it is divided into two parts primary and secondary which is further divided into ROM and RAM and secondary memory is of many types like SGD, FDD, DVD, pen drive and so on. Now we'll discuss primary memory. Primary memory is the main memory of the computer system. As we have just discussed, see in this graph, primary memory is of two types, RAM and ROM. Then RAM is of two types, SRAM and DRAM and ROM is of three types PROM, EPROM and EEPROM. Primary memory is in direct reach of CPU. So which memory is in direct reach of CPU? Primary memory. Okay. It has limited storage capacity. Primary memory is of two types that is RAM and ROM. Now what is RAM? RAM means random access memory. It is volatile in nature means the data present in it remains till the power supply to the computer is on. See these are your RAMs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so these are RAM. Now what is ROM? ROM means read only memory. ROM is non-volatile in nature that means the data stored on it does not get erased when the power supply is off. Okay? See, this is ROM. Now, next we'll discuss is secondary memory. Secondary memory is not in the direct reach of CPU. See here, secondary memory, fixed devices, removable devices, Fixed devices are hard disk drive, CD, DVD drives, etc. And removal, removable devices are pen drives, Blu-ray disc, CD, DVD and so on. Now the data present in it is first accessed by the primary memory and then it is passed on to the CPU for processing. Okay. There are various types of secondary storage devices like hard disk, CD, DVD, Blu-ray, pen drive and so on. Now first is magnetic tape. See this is your magnetic tape. Okay. It consists of magnetic coating on a thin plastic strip. It looks like music cassette. Its average storage capacity ranges from 5 MB to 140 MB. Okay. Now, next is your hard disk. 
or it is also known as Winchester disc. It is the most commonly used secondary storage device. It is present inside the CPU. It is composed of one or more platters which are divided into tracks. Each track is further divided into sectors. So as you can see in this image, this is read write head, this is pivot, spindle motor, platters and so on. Okay. Next is your CD. CD means compact disc. A CD is a is an optional storage device which is flat and round. It is shiny on one side and dull on the other. It has it is made up of three layers. First layer that is polycarbonate, second or middle layer is made up of aluminium and the third layer is made from plastic and lacquer. This is your CDR. So what is CDR? CDR means compact disc recordable. So it lets user to save data on it only once. Means the data can only be read from it. Okay. Another type is CDRW. CDRW means compact disc rewritable. That is the data can be erased many times to save new data on it. Okay. Next is DVD. DVD means digital versatile disc. A DVD can store almost any kind of data. So it is called a versatile disc. Okay. It looks similar to a CD but it can store more data than CD. A standard CD can store 4.7 GB of data. Okay. Now what is it? This is Blu-ray. Blu-ray offers more than 5 times the storage capacity of DVDs. It allows recording, rewriting and playback of HD videos also. Okay. It was jointly developed by Blu-ray Disc Association that is BDA. Next is pen drive. The another name of pen drive is flash drive. You mu all must have used it. It is a popular, small, compact and portable storage device. Its capacity ranges from 16 MB to 1 TB or even more. The area where it is plugged in into the computer is called USB port. USB stands for Universal Serial Bus. Now the last device is memory card. See this is the memory card. It is used to store photos and videos in electronic devices like digital camera, mp3 players, game consoles and cell phones. It offers storage capacities ranging from 4 GB to 512 GB or even more. Okay. Okay children, I hope you have enjoyed the video, understood the topics well and also liked the video. Thank you everyone.